13. We're pleased to introduce Friday night's resident sex expert. Now, he's written a sexual athletic guide. It's called How to Stay on Top of Your Game. He's also the president of three massage parlors in town, and he's a man you just can't say no to. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Friday night sex expert, Dr. Vito Corleone. Nice to see you, Vito. Hey, nice to see you. Como really, está? Como really está? a pleasure. Thanks for coming. Hey, you're Thanks for coming. Okay. You're, looking okay. you're looking terrific. I know you're very busy, and I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. Well, the trotters are running at the truck, but I figure, hey, your time is my time, your money is my money, I'm here. Well, you owe me a favor, too. That has a lot to do with it. Well, let's get on. You know, Dr. Vito, you're an expert, and the first thing I'd like to ask you, the sexual revolution, I feel that it's reached a real peak in the 80s. Would you agree with that? Oh, it's unbelievable. It's growing like uh, leaps and bounds. It hasn't climaxed yet, but it's getting there. You know, there's a lot of people. There's magazines now, there's radio now, there's TV now, there's... Well, you uh, got this, what, Dr. Ruth Westheimer? Dr. Ruth, it's little girl, book. big sure. act, big act. Do you know her? Do you know her? Westheimer. Yeah. I know her since she was baby Ruth. Oh, so you're good, you're good friends then. You're close. We're like this. I understand. I understand. Sakes. Listen, Dr. Vito, I know you're a busy guy. We've yeah. had some, uh, some questions that have been sent in by our viewing audience. Oh, yeah. From folks, Yo, who would, audience. from folks who would like to have some things answered, if you don't mind. Hey, I took a Hippocratic oath to help people. I'm going to help people. Sure, I understand. All right. Dear, first one is, Dear Dr. Vito, uh, yeah. I'm 16 and I just started oh, dating. Yeah. Is foreplay allowed on the first date? And it's signed, Heather in Homewood. Heather, I gotta tell you, it might be noisy on the first date, but it won't get loud till like the third or fourth date. You find out what he likes, no, no, what no. you like. No, 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 Dr. Vito, Dr. Yeah, I don't yeah. think Heather means loud noise. I think she means, is it okay? I think that's what she's it's after. Okay, here. hey, it's okay with me. Is it okay with you? <laughs> I guess so. Hey, Bambino, it's okay, but no tongues. Okay, okay yeah, fine. Why don't we just move on? We'll okay. move on, Dr. Vito. Uh, the next one reads, Dear Dr. Vito, I've been married 26 years to a male chauvinist pig who believes a woman should be barefoot and in the kitchen. You've heard that story before. What should I do? Signed, Domestic in Dominion City. You know, Paisan, I've got to tell you, this is a very important question to me. It hits close to home, close to my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody heard. So I'm going to answer it in two parts. Uh -huh. The first part, the barefoot part, listen, I love feet, okay? I kiss toes, I caress arches, I do everything. 15 years, I got athlete's tongue for my wife. I don't care. It's something I enjoy. The second part, in the kitchen, hey, what's wrong with the kitchen? There's well, more than one way to cook in a kitchen. If I've, you get I've heard that story before. That's I have true. heard that, Remember yeah. that movie, uh, Postman Rings Twice? I've, well, I saw it, yeah. Remember that part with the flour and the table? Yeah, and I the, recall. Did you get hot watching Well, that? I didn't really get I hot. No. I uh, Fine. Why don't you? I'm getting hot thinking about it. <laughs> why don't you just cool off a little I'm bit? Okay. I'm and okay. And we'll continue. Do you mind? No, carry on. All right. Dear Dr. Vito, I'm a you okay? Can we get you anything? <coughs> no, I'm good. Fine. Dear Dr. Vito, I'm a 32-year-old unemployed postal worker. I've yeah. been dating the same inflatable doll for the last three years. That's what it says. Yeah. And the relationship just isn't any fun anymore. What'll I do? And it's signed, Out of Breath in Boise Bay. Out of Breath, I'm here on my own time, okay? You give me questions like this, I can tell you one thing. Your biggest problem is not unemployment. Let me get that right off the bat. Why don't you take this, this thing of yours out, fill it full of helium, and take it to a disco, okay? So Give me a break. That's a good, straightforward answer, Dr. Vito. You must have something more. We got time for one more. You tangible, yeah. We got time for one yeah, more? Yeah, let's go All for right. it. Dear Dr. Vito, my wife and I are enrolled in medical school and recently read in the National Enquirer magazine yeah. about a man in San Francisco who has three penises. Is this biologically possible? <laughs> Signed, Wondering in Winkler. You know, Paisan, I'm a doctor, okay? I don't know if it's possible, I don't know if it's impossible, but if it's true, I can tell you one thing, this guy's pants fit him like a glove. Okay, yeah. whoa, I think we got some CRTC Listen, regulations. Stan, Dr. I gotta Vito. get to the track, Thanks it's been a much. slice, good Thank seeing you. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank you. Coming. Thank you very much, Make Dr. sure my money's in the mail, too. All right, right. thanks All very right. much. Thank I know he's a busy guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Vito Corleone. Thanks.